So it's Saturday morning, um, beginning of June, and I just wanted to do a little video over here in the berry area. Just wanted to show you this blueberry. I'm very proud of it. It's really loaded this year and looking pretty healthy. I'm putting on some new growth. There's a big shoot coming up. Um, probably need to prune this one later on. And then I've got some younger ones here that are looking pretty good. That one has quite a few berries for its size. Got one back here and probably need to remove some of that garlic that might be shading it, but it's looking good. Got a lot of blueberries there. And then this is an interesting one over here. It is supposed to be an ever-bearing blueberry, which in reality that means it probably has a flush in the spring and then a flush later on in the season. But one thing I wanted to talk about is the fact that blueberries need acidic soil. I don't really know if that's a fact. You hear it all the time. Um, I don't really do anything to acidify my soil. I, I try not to buy anything, like amendments or mulches, and it's difficult to just find things laying around that are actually going to acidify your soil. So I don't do it, and these blueberries are grown pretty much how all my plants are grown, just in a really rich, well-mulched garden soil um, I tried to give them a little bit more water than I might give other plants because they like that, they need that. And we do give them human urine. So I don't know if in the long run that really helps to acidify the soil. I think not because I also give lots of other plants lots of human urine because I have a great human urine donor living in my house. So that is a huge help. But the thing is, people think about um, gardening, growing plants um, in, a, in a strange way that I think is encouraged by science class where we do these experiments where we put chemicals together and, and we have to be really, really exact and then they, they um, interact together and then we make some sort of calculation. And I mean, that's great for like junior high science, but it's not really how it works out here. There are way too many factors. This system is way too complex. So if you're thinking about, oh, I'm gonna add so many pounds of this and it's gonna have this effect, probably not. Um, what This is a healthy system. I mean, as healthy as it can be in this state of suspended succession that I have here but I like to think it's pretty healthy. I don't have a lot of pest problems and I have super healthy plants for the most part. So the system is very resilient and it's coming to an equilibrium and it will, if I change something, it will come back to equilibrium fairly quickly which means that changing the pH out here is really hard. There is an enormous amount of organic matter in the soil because I've spent the last 20 years building it up. That means that it's buffering itself incredibly well. And if you want to change the pH, you're gonna have a lot of trouble. So I didn't give up on blueberries, even though I was told that I needed this really acidic soil and I'm glad I didn't give up because I'm just super happy with this blueberry plant right here. And it's been in for several years. I mean, this is maybe its third season here. Um, probably been longer than that. I just forget. But the point is, I can't micromanage each little area based on what that plant quote unquote needs. Uh, it's too difficult, that's impossible. So I just try to provide the healthiest soil for all my plants. 
and it's working pretty well.